Hello, hello. Welcome back, everyone. As you can tell from the description, we are back in the antechamber. And I think I have enough information to finish the game. We'll see. I am still missing what I assume to be one of the kind of middle lessons in this. So I'm not 100% sure quite where it is. But that's okay. I think we'll be able to figure it out. Uh, let me just pull up the game. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, just double checking to make sure. Okay, looks like audio is coming through. Okay, yep. Let me know if the audio uh, seems too quiet, too loud, etc. And we can take it from there. Yeah, so this is the lesson that I'm missing here. I don't quite know where it is. Um, I don't really want to backtrack right now. Uh, maybe if we end up completing the game, I'll go back to try and find it, depending on how long this takes. Um, I have a hunch as to where it is, so I'm going to go ahead and check out that place now. And if it's not there, that's fine. We have enough to continue going forward. Um, but you can kind of tell, we've already completed most of the map. Um, so... All these little boxes are places you can transport yourself to. Um, any of these paths that look incomplete is a place we haven't been yet. This is really the only place we haven't been yet. Uh, with the exception of over here, which is the puzzle I'm going to solve next. Uh, actually, that's a lie. And I don't think I've... Yeah, I have done this one. That's a lie. I'm actually going to start here because I need to collect myself some blocks. Dig a little deeper and you may find something new. Yeah, because I came from up there. Oh, that wasn't wasn't supposed to do that. It is pretty cool how you can kind of multiply them continuously by doing stuff like this. There we go. Then I'll suck all these back up. And what I'm just trying to do here is basically build a wall right there. So that when I jump, I hit the wall there. Okay, so my mistake in this section here was assuming that I had missed a block somewhere in the world. I don't think I did. I think what actually ended up happening... Basically, I actually have to make it such that none of these blocks are touching these bars. Once I do that, that should be sufficient. Yeah, like that. Uh... Now I just need to remember how to actually do that. Okay, I think I know what I can do. There we go. Yep. Now how do I leave that one behind? Hmm. 
There it is. And that should open up the door, which it has. Awesome. Okay. I don't need to collect all those. Well, here we go. Interesting. So I wonder if this was all like the developmental work that went into this game. Unless these were other games that the studio worked on and they played around with different ideas and inspirations. It's interesting how if you start from over here just how different it looks aesthetically. Like they went with a darker feel, almost feels kind of um I don't really know what to call it. It reminds me of a little bit of Half-Life. There's probably more influence in there. And then it just gets progressively more colorful, more cartoony. Yeah, it looks like they didn't even introduce anything resembling the modern gun until this spot. They had that gun style for idea for a long time. Okay, they have that puzzle ready to go. Oh yeah, look, and this is the point at which they decided to switch over to the circular style. Interesting. Okay, uh, there wasn't a lesson here. So... Okay, so that means that I did end up missing a lesson somewhere, which is fine. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. I will probably maybe check some sort of, um, I don't know, maybe I'll check some sort of walkthrough to try and get it, because I have no idea which one it would be. Okay, I need to get some materials. Where can I get them from? gonna check something out just to be sure. Yeah, I can't move anything there. Yeah, this puzzle is actually a lot easier to solve than I thought it would be. Um, I'll show it. I'll show you once I actually get the um, ability to do so. I just don't know how I'm gonna get the, the blocks. Uh, maybe over in here? Solution to a problem may just require a more thorough look at it. I've been down there before. Rushing through a problem won't always give you the right results. That's very interesting. No, 
Oh, I want to go over there. How do I go over there? Oh. There we go. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to get to that place. We'll see, though. Yeah! Perfect. Okay. Um... There we go. And that is how you get through. Oh! Some problems can't be solved until you're more experienced. Let us go. Move on when there's nothing left to learn. Just out of curiosity. Okay, that's still up. Okay, so I did miss one. Where did I get you from? I kind of wish it would tell me, like, where I got that from. That would make things easier so I could kind of backtrack. Because I think there's a little bit of linearity here with how they're ordered. Because obviously these two kind of came last. Alright, let's, uh... Sorry, I just worked myself here, I realized. Oh! Look at you! Interesting. Alright, I guess let's do this. Uh, oh. Interesting. I want to go back there. I guess there's multiple ways I could go, honestly. I don't think it really matters, I just have to choose one and commit. Wait a minute. I've been here before, haven't I? What the hell? I swear I've been this direction before. Man, this is trippy. Alright, let's try going downstairs. About another downstairs. If I keep going this direction, something cool will happen. 
Nope, nothing changes. How about I go up? Okay, that's leading me nowhere. Okay, so I think I was actually right to be heading this direction originally. Ooh, look at this cool area. And that just takes me back outside, okay. Uh, I guess we could start with green. What? Okay. Interesting. Oh. Was that it? I feel like there was a secret area there somewhere. Very interesting. Okay, so they're all paired up. See, I don't even remember which uh, one was the correct one anymore. Okay, that... Oh, it was just the black and white ones. That's easy enough. Okay. Oh, hey, there's you. There you are. Uh... around here. Interesting. Alright, come to me. Oh, jeez. Wow. That's kind of cool. Oh, not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay. Oh, there you are. Well, how does it expect me to get over that, then? Uh... Oh, I guess that worked. do I get through that? Yeah, look at it. It, like, creates a little, uh... Interesting. Oh! How was I supposed to get past that?
Oh, I think that's the secret. I think these paths don't dissolve. Okay, they don't dissolve, but they're really tough to get up really quickly. Oh my gosh. Can I just... Jumping should have worked. Whoa, that's pretty nuts. Okay, I think I might have an idea of what to do now. Haha, -ha. cool. All right, come back here, thing. Complicated problems are easier when solved one step at a time. That's pretty cool. Interesting. It's like taking me around the whole puzzle before it has me attempt to solve it. Just showing me like all the places that I can put stuff. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, okay. I might be able to carry some blocks through this way. Okay, I think there's another that. Interesting. The sound like completely cut out, almost. Oh, that's where I came from. Okay, I can't go up there yet. Ah, this is freaky. Just 
interesting. We can appreciate the entire journey by looking back at how far we have come. Oh, there we go. And with that, I think now I start the back, uh, going backwards. This is actually, I really like this uh, setup for a puzzle, actually. It takes you like forward through the entire thing so you can see how everything fits together. And now you go backwards in it. Okay. Uh Sure that works I guess. Okay. There we go. <sighs> okay. Got to do the same thing here. I guess that works. Okay. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and grab you next, I guess. Oh, you're smelly. Hey, Zap, how's it going? Oh, gosh, how do I do this? Oh, that's how. There we go. Then I go all the way up here. There we go. And then... You smell like a charcuterie board left for a week since Christmas and blended dry-aged A5 wog you made from meat glue and 20-day-old minced beef. You're pulling out the big guns tonight, Jesus Christ. I don't even know how to respond to that. You're doing okay? Good. Good to hear. 
Yes, I am. I think I could finish the game today. We'll see. This is a uh, this is one of the last puzzles of the game. I'm pretty sure. Um, this big black thing is what I'm trying to go for. You're playing Portal, but for schizophrenics. Yeah, basically. Literally for you. Yeah. Okay. Can I get? That's the thing, is I have no idea whether or not me getting this into here is going to destroy it. It might. Yeah, okay, so I can't feed anything that way. Um, and I can't feed anything that way either. What if I... Oh, where are you going? Come back. How about get you in there? Oh, that works. Okay. Oh, that's rough. Okay. I'm gonna set up a couple walls here so that... Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Come on. Rad, yes, Zeph. What is up? What's going on with the fish tuber? Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Your fridge has become the Arctic Ocean. Why did you turn the temperature down too much? Or are you blaming me for turning the temperature down? Ah. What? Let's. Filled with ice and cold water so I can have narwhal friends near me. I mean, that seems like a good thing, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't you want there to be more, like... I don't know, ability for there to be narwhal friends? Okay. Well, that's all filled up. Oh, interesting. So that's why it had me do that. You're wormholing your ocean friends. Awesome. We have the technology. No, yeah, no, go ahead. I mean, I guess I wasn't using my fridge for anything else. <laughs> Invite your narwhals, your... I don't know, ichthyosaurs, your other ocean pals. I was gonna say manatees, but those aren't fish. Well, no, neither are narwhals, now that I think about it. Narwhals are the unicorns of the sea. Uh... Narwhals are mammals, technically, but they swim and have been so fish. Yeah, I, I can't argue with that logic. I have no idea if this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that there and hope for the best. Wait a minute. Okay, I think I... Yep, okay. Aha! That was very nice of them. So, if I can't remember if I asked you, what is your favorite kind of fish? Or are there too many to, to determine? Okay. That way. Your favorite kind of fish. What's your favorite fish? You, you can use any criteria you want. Bluefin tuna? Gotcha, gotcha. As they have a unique thermal blood vessel system that lets them be fast and be apex of the ocean. That's a that's a pretty good reason for them to be your favorite. Yeah. Um. 
Do you know what a siphonophore is? It's like, it's kind of like a jellyfish, but not really. Well, I guess not even that. It depends on what kind you're looking at. Um, so the, the Portuguese man of war is technically a siphonophore. Basically, let me see if I can explain it correctly. Not a, not a biologist, so <laughs> take what I say with a grain of salt. Um, yes, they are a colonial organism that is technically made up of multiple members called zooids. I think that's the term. And I almost feel like it's as if the cells in your body were each individual organisms themselves. That's basically like what a siphonophore is. They each like grow up with their own kind of like, yeah, colonies of organisms that unified into one mass. Yeah, it, it's it fascinates me because that seems like kind of what eukaryotic being, beings are with extra steps. But I guess the idea is that you can just have like a standalone zooid that's technically its own living thing. But they come together to realize whatever the big siphonophore actually is. Every journey comes to an end. Oh no. Our journey's almost over. Sad. I think this is it. I think this is it. It's a rather unique jellyfish, yes. And there's also uh, types of siphonophores that um, don't even look like jellyfish. They look like weird, long, stringy things. Like the giant siphonophore is like, I don't know how big it can be, like 40, 50 feet long or something. And it lives like in really deep depths and it glows. Those are pretty cool. Uh... Now that's an interesting mechanic. Okay, let's uh, suck up this thing. Let's say, can I put him back and restore the world? Interesting. Okay, I got. Whoa. Ooh. Now, this is a cool layout. Also, I have no idea what it's saying, but I find the whispering pretty cool. Brad. Yes, Seth. What's up? Lay it on me. Don't you think humans figuring out the elements of the world truly separate us from just being animals? Um, I think that's part of it. I think it's a combination of humans figuring out the elements of the world, but also... Ooh, did you hear that? That's frightening. But also, like, humans being able to kind of look inward as well. Right? Like, how many animals out there do you think are capable of, like, real, like, introspection and just thinking about, I guess, their own place in the world? What the hell is down there? Yeah, just us, exactly. So I guess this takes me back down here. And then this takes me... Does that... I don't know if that takes me down there or not, so I'm just going to keep going this way. Yeah, so it's like... It's 
Because humans have the capacity to kind of think about their own place in, like, the greater world. I th I would go as far as to say humans probably have better perception, perception of, like, what the world even is. I wonder about this with, like, my cats as well. Just because it's, like... I think to my cats there's only, like, three, maybe four or five places in the world, right? Not including the, like, adoption center that we got them from, right? There's our apartment, which includes, like, a patio. There's the hallway and the elevator that leads to my car. There's my car. And then there's the vet's office. I'm just gonna jump. Oh. I guess that was the right call. Can I jump again? I'm gonna portal it. Haha! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, because animals aren't sophisticated like us. Yeah, and it's just, I... They just don't have the capacity, I think, to truly, like, appreciate that. Like, I think they can make some, like, maybe educated guesses as to, like, how it works. But I don't think they're going to come to the same, like deep conclusions that we might. Oh my gosh. How do I get there? I just want to go there. There we go. It might be different for something like a blue whale because at least those guys are like traveling like usually many, many miles like, for breeding and for just, like, whatever. But even then, like, they don't really have a... I don't think they have much of a concept of, like, land, you know? I don't think they understand just how many species there are. Well, I just fell. I'm just gonna appreciate this for a little while. This is pretty cool. Can I, like, inch myself closer to the black one? Oh, it's opening. <sighs> now, what's that? Do I suck it up? Me opening the demon core. I wonder if it's antimatter. Mr. Beast told me there's millions of dollars inside. Yeah. It's a uh, free candy, a nice blue light. I've heard plutonium tastes sweet. I don't know how true that is. Oh no, you know what? That's <laughs> I think that's a candy, actually. I think that's where the meme came from. Or it might have been sour. I don't know. Alright, what did I just do? Gallium tastes like oil. I mean, that sounds right. If you tried to chew it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and you can chew gallium. Because it's like... <gasps> Wait, I know what's gonna happen. <gasps> it's gonna do the thing. It's the logo. That's what this whole exercise was, just us creating the logo. <laughs> Hell yeah, look at that. Oh, I think reality is about to fall apart. It's sucking up everything. What's outside? Blackness. Oh! Cool. 
Cool. Well, that was really fun. I, uh, that was the first time I've ever beaten this game. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I'm not completely done yet. Um, I still need to go back and get what I expect are going to be, like, the last one or two lessons, I think. Um, I, I enjoyed this game thoroughly. Um, I mean, when I first played it, God, I think I first got it pretty close to after it came out, like around 2014 or so. Um, oh, <laughs> it just closed out of the game. Okay, let's uh, get right back in. Up, 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 up. Give it a second to load. Okay. Yeah, no, this game is a lot of fun. Um, very interesting concept. I always appreciated these little, like, lessons that come out of it. Um, let me just take a sip here. Mm -hmm. Now, the trick is going to be figuring out what the hell this one is. I don't think I unlock anything. I wonder if the ending changes if I have all the lessons. I guess we could try that out. Okay. Um, so here's what I'm going to do, actually. I am going to look through some... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Some walkthroughs to see whether or not we can find kind of the next steps here. Okay, so put on a little bit of background music. Oh, it doesn't look like background music's playing. Uno momento. Music playlist. Let's try that. There we go. Okay. Now if I pull up anti anti chamber walk through. In three, two, one. Uh okay, this YouTube video says it's all science. About to say, I want to be able to find like just the list of signs. Yeah, think if dragons, hydras are things IRL, would they be amphibians or different species under biology? Ah, uh, good question. Honestly, I feel like dragons would probably be. If you told me that dragons were like genetically close to dinosaurs, I'd probably not disagree with that because aren't like dinosaurs closer to birds than anything just imagine these like big i don't know i wouldn't call them necessarily bird like but dinosaur like type creatures i could see that hydras i don't know maybe maybe hydras would be reptiles a chicken and t-rex thing isn't a joke yes absolutely well, what's the saying? Like, the chicken is, like, the closest relative to the T-Rex? I, I actually... I, I like and kind of appreciate that a lot, actually. I think that's a, kind of a cool concept. Um, and also the idea that, like, dinosaurs most likely had feathers is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up this walk. Oh, this doesn't even tell me what signs right there. That's not really going to be helpful. Okay. Let's see. Oh. 
maybe it would be better to kind of show you all what I'm looking at here so I can try and search for it. Uh, no, Bing, I don't want your answers. Thank you. Uh, do I want... Yeah, I'll just do a desktop share, I think. Display capture. Oh, okay, there's that. Uh, hide antechamber temporarily. Okay, antechamber walkthrough. Uh, antechamber signs, maybe. Antechamber all signs quote list. Whoa, I don't know what type of ads this thing's giving me. Uh, this is just a list. I want the actual signs. Uh, let's see. There are 120 signs total. The moral wall is what they're calling it. List of signs, maybe? Okay, uh, this might be the most relevant one. Adds one of them like corn ads, like good shucking corn. There you go. Okay, uh, if I bring up antechamber again. Okay, this looks like it's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, twenty-five. I'm missing the 25th sign. Some tasks require a lot of care and observation. Learning to draw? Really? Huh. Okay. I guess let's try learning to draw then. Uh... Learning to draw is... I will find it. It's kind of close to here, I thought. Oh, where's learning to draw? Come on. Don't do this to me. I was listening to a podcast not that long ago, and one of the guys on it was mentioning how, like, he thinks it's really weird that there's just, like, ads for cheese. Like, not even just, like, a specific type of brand, just cheese in general. Like, who the heck hasn't, like, heard of the concept of cheese, such that there needs to be a commercial to draw more attention to there being cheese? I like the idea that corn needs similar advertisements. North Koreans. <laughs> is cheese not very common in those types? Where the heck is learning to draw? It's not on this side, I don't think. Oh, there's learning to draw. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba. If you're a party member of privileged class, ye, toilet paper is a luxury there. Wow, even toilet paper is? Wow.
I guess that really shows how just disconnected I am. Yeah. Oh, I guess I can't add any more. Yeah, I mean, I definitely knew that there were obviously, like, certain things that I would, I guess, think as classic, like, classically high class probably wouldn't be accessible. But even, like, most basic things, that's awful. Oh my gosh. I guess I have to... Also, same two groups of people are the only ones that can drive vehicles. Same two groups of people are the only ones that can drive vehicles. Interesting. So, like, the common... So, like, the common man can't really drive vehicles there? Wow. Uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. I don't know if this is the puzzle I need to solve. Probably gonna have to just solve all puzzles until. Okay, yeah, this wasn't it. Okay, it's not that puzzle either. I don't think it's even this puzzle, but we'll try it. Okay, it's not that one. Sorry, I'm just going to pull it up one more time. Learning to draw. Some tasks require a lot of care and observation. New skills enable further progress. Sorry, I'm going to pull up the chat again. So I have that. Okay. Um... I don't really want to go there because I know I'm going to lose all my stuff. Some obstacles are more stubborn than others. Okay, this is where I start getting to the tower. So, I don't think that's the direction I want to go. Uh, I wonder if it's, like, past one of these doors. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, it's not that way. Let's go ahead and go this way. That's it? I literally walked right past it. Some tasks require a lot of care and observation. That was it. <laughs> okay. There was something I wanted to very briefly check before I finish up here.
It's there. Oh, uh, hold on one second, everyone. I am back. Sorry about that. Uh, just give me one moment. My wife is uh, ordering some ice cream. Let's do... So what I wanted to check, I saw someone randomly reference a 21st sign. So I just want to double check and make sure that that's not like a hoax or something. Or sorry, not 21st, 121st. Oh, it, it looks like it's just a hoax. Some guy was talking about how he thought he saw a sign that wasn't any of the ones that we came across. Okay, so I think with that, that's pretty much the game. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right to the end to see whether or not... We decoding a bank security system with this game right now. Uh, yeah, I guess pretty much can break it to a bank with this. I think I'm just going to go through the ending one more time just to see whether or not it changes, given that we now have this. We now have all the signs unlocked. We have effectively 100% of this game. Yeah. This was pretty fun, though. I am... I, I know I mentioned it before, but I'm really glad that I got to get to the end of this game. Uh, I guess it's... Oh. There we go. I don't even know how I fell off last time. I think I just... Oh, it was around here, I think. Okay, let's try to do the way that the game actually wants me to go, which is just walk across these paths. Or maybe that's a lie. Maybe it does want me to fall through and just... Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so it's going to make me jump and fall, and I'm going to land right there. Ah, and then it takes me this way. I like the way that I went earlier when I was just continuously falling into nothingness. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and... Let's do this one more time. Now that's interesting. Was I not supposed to get that close? <laughs> that's actually really funny. All these walls here make it seem like I never should have gotten that close to it.
Actually, I kind of have to, though. Yeah, because there's no way I can get it into that. Okay, let me just then fall directly onto this. Where did I put it? Did you forget to set the game back up, or are you just speed running off screen? Uh, I did forget to set the game back up. I think, um... Because last time I was just falling continuously until I landed in this space. I guess that's kind of what I was supposed to do anyway. Uh, I could try speed running off the screen. Oh, never mind. It wouldn't let me go. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just watch the end of the world happen again. Can I stop it? No. No, don't do it. Don't make the logo, please. Anything but that. Can I get whacked by this? No, I can't. It's, uh, it's not solid. I can phase right through it. go. Make the logo again. Okay, now it's solid. Okay, I'm actually going to watch it to see it explode this time. Or I guess implode, rather. Alright. And once again, that is the end of the game. Yay, thank you, Alexander Bruce. Great game. I wonder if they made any other games. That'd be kind of worth looking into. I don't know exactly which studio this is that made it. I, I mean, I know they're like an indie studio, or at least imagine they are. Yeah. I like these kind of games, like, that just... I don't think it needs, like, a crazy plot. It just needs some really cool things to explore. And some, like, cool puzzles. And, boom. We've exited. Alright, everyone. Um, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I didn't really have any other plans for this stream. Um, I think I've only been going for a little over an hour, but I think I'm probably just gonna go ahead and call it here for tonight. Um... So, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Um, this is a little bit of a shorter one. Left 4 Dead 2 or Jump King. Um, I might be down to play stuff in a little bit. I'm definitely going to take a small break anyway. Um, I've also been working a little bit more on a YouTube video that should be coming out hopefully sometime in the next couple weeks. Um, well, yeah, we'll see. But, um, yeah, thank you so much for joining. Um, I don't have my next stream really planned. I might do something sometime this weekend. Um, I'll keep you all in the loop with how it goes. Have a good night. Yeah, thank you so much, Zap, for joining. Always good seeing you here. Um, yeah, I'll keep you in the loop. Um, otherwise, expect streams as normal kind of next week. Um, yeah. Hope you all have a good rest of your night or morning, whatever time zone you happen to be in, and I'll see you all later. Uh, let's go ahead and find someone to raid. Pull up Twitch here. <laughs> let's do... Oh, let's go ahead and raid Cryptid Cheesecake today. Looks like she's doing an art stream. Just pull up a uh, creator mode here. Uh, 
TikTok. Why is rowing with Hydro the best workout for you? Rowing. Uh, these ads. I'm gonna give it a few seconds for the ad to finish and then I'll do the raid. But yeah, uh, once again, thank you everyone so much for joining. Um, yeah, stream as usual. Sometime next week, I might do a bonus stream sometime this weekend. We'll see. Um, I am gonna start working. I have started working on a YouTube video for uh, the Hurdy Gurdy model build that I've been doing over the past couple weeks. Um, I made some pretty good progress on it so far. I just really need to trim it down because it's like, what, five hours of content or something. I want to try and condense into like no more than a 10 minute video or so. But we'll see. Uh, keep you all on the loop with when that comes out. Uh, okay, I think we're good to go. Thanks everyone for joining. See you next time. Bye-bye.